No Power problem, now. Coach. No problem. We understand for sure. It looks like uh, uh, radio went ahead and uh, went on their own. They may join okay. back in, but let's just go ahead with the normal media. Pal, okay. we'll just start it off with you. Pat, you're on mute. Uh, Coach, is this as well as or as good as you've attacked that Washington zone since Hopkins has been there? Yeah, you know, I thought, Pat, last year in the first half, we were awful good against it as well. Um, you know, we made, I think we were five for 10 from three uh, today in the first half. I think last year we, we made seven threes in the first half. But I think we've gotten better at it. Um, I think our players have gotten more confident in, you know, uh, we've, we've, it's not like it's, uh, you know, uh, one of those things where you, I, I think back to when we were struggling uh, with their zone and they had a guy in their team named T. Steibel at the top of that thing who was a, a real problem defensive player of the year in the league you know I think twice back to back and so when you got a guy like that up there it makes a big difference when when he's not there anymore so but I thought yeah uh, we're getting more comfortable with it more confident with it and uh, again in the second half we got a little stagnant uh, we settled for the high post jump shot a little bit too much I thought in the second half which sometimes can happen, especially when you make a few early. Um, so I, I, I was really happy for the first probably 30 minutes the way we attacked that thing, but for the last, you know, eight to 10, not so much. Jake Shapiro. Hey, hey Tad, Dallas was terrific, as you said tonight. Through the first six games now, he's top 10 in the country in field goal percentage. He's just been so efficient for you guys and culminating in tonight. What has he done for you guys that has just been so efficient and so well? Well, you know, he just, he's got a great touch for a big guy. He's got, you know, he's got great length, obviously being seven foot. Um, you know, he, he made some really tough shots tonight. That jump hook going over his left shoulder is a really hard shot to contest when you're seven footer. Now, I think one of the things Dallas is going to have to do is start going over that other shoulder a little bit and, and coming up with a counter move in the post, because I'm sure people, you know, when he keeps playing the way he's playing, he's going to start seeing double teams. He's going to start seeing uh, guards digging down more, you know, when he puts the ball on the floor. So getting deeper catches and going over that other shoulder rather than just the other shoulder all the time, you know, is something he's going to have to expound upon. But, you know, uh, if, the, if they don't double him, he's he's a threat down there because he can really score the ball. And I can't remember after what game it was. I think it was after the Tennessee game. He was, I think he was one for one against Tennessee, if, I, if my memory serves. And, you know, I, mean, I remember – coming into the next staff meeting in the morning. And I said, guys, you know, we, we've got to get this guy more shots. He's got to be more of a focal point of our offense. And, and, and we told the team that as well. And uh, they really have responded and, and cause he's, he's very efficient, you know, with his shots and uh, doesn't take a lot of bad ones, but every time he touches it down there, you feel like something good's going to happen. And, and, and I think I feel the same way about Evan. And coach is exactly right. Of course, one for one against Tennessee. Uh, we'll go ahead with uh, Justin. Coach, what is it about Jariah Horn that has just allowed him to, to fit so seamless, seamlessly in your system? And how much of a spark has he been for you guys, just being that first guy off the bench? Yeah, big spark. Jariah is an important part of this team. You know, he plays starters minutes, Justin. You know, he had 22 tonight. And the one thing about Jariah, he's, he's very comfortable on the floor. Um, you know, he – He's very coachable and he wants to learn, but he's also one of those guys that doesn't overthink the game. He plays with great instincts, especially offensively. Um, keep challenging him on the defensive end, both him and, him and he and Keyshawn. I think we keep challenging those guys to, to guard at the level that those, you know, uh, those other guys are guarding at. And if, and if he does that, our team's going to be really, really good because he can make shots and he's a very crafty player and Jariah knows how to get his shots. And, and he's, a, he's a veteran guy. So uh, made some big, big plays out of the high post again in the first half. Uh, didn't make the, the, the same shots he did in the second half that he made in the first half. But uh, I've, I've, I've got a lot of confidence in Jirai, and He's a big part of this team. Okay, we've got a question for uh, Thomas Gahan. Uh, hi, Tad. Um, I, uh, last, uh, last time you guys played at – uh, T-Mobile Arena was just days before everything went to hell and the, the you know, it was a very disappointing end to last season. How did it feel coming back in here tonight and having a nice win like you did? Good, good to get the taste 
you know, out of our mouth, to be honest with you, Thomas, because you're exactly right. And it was the day before, you know, the, the, the Pac-12 tournament was canceled. The NCAA tournament was canceled. It was literally the day before. And, and uh, you know, it was a, a bad taste that we had to, we've had to live with all off season. And, uh, you know, we, we obviously didn't get a chance to play Washington State back in December. We got to get that game rescheduled. Um, and get a date for that. That has not been done yet, uh, which is frustrating. But um, we need we need to uh, get another crack at them. And and uh, but we won't. It won't be in this building. It'll be in our building. And and uh, but yeah, it was. Uh, I didn't think about it a lot. We didn't talk about it a lot. Um, one of my assistants said something to me at shoot around today, and I ignored him. I didn't even respond. So. Okay, uh, Pat Rooney, go ahead. Uh, Ted, you talked this week about uh, being better on the offensive glass. Uh, I think you wound up having 12 tonight. Uh, even in the first half when you weren't missing a lot of shots, you were getting a lot of uh, good second chances, uh, you know, really from the get-go with Dallas's uh, tip-in. Did you, uh, you know, were you happy with the effort on, on that end? I was. I was. I still, you know, we, we had a couple fouls uh, going for offensive rebounds. I consider those good fouls, Pat. Those aren't bad fouls. Now, there's a couple of them where we need to try to get even – with the defensive guy who's trying to box us out, we're sometimes trying to jump over their back or push them in the back. And that's easier to try to do than, than get around them because getting around them try, takes effort. And uh, so we is still still a lot of room for improvement. But I, th I was, I was you know, anytime you have 12 offensive rebounds, you'll take that every night. I mean, we'll, 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 we'll live with that. So, and we, you know, we out-rebounded them pretty uh, convincingly, plus 15. And uh, so I thought, Again, that's another area when you emphasize something as a coach and your team comes out and does it, it's a it's a good feeling. Anything else for coach? Okay, Pat, go ahead. One uh, final question. Go ahead. Yeah, coach, just wondering, I don't know how much you've gotten to look at Grand Canyon yet, but, uh, you know, what's going to be a challenge coming back and, and doing this again in 48 hours? Well, you know, they're, they're a team, you know, I told, uh, told our team, their team and, and our guys know it. they had a shot, you know, at the buzzer to beat Arizona state and we know how good Arizona state is. So, um, you know, they're going to be fired up to play us and we got to make sure we're fired up to play them. And I, I, I believe with a veteran crew, we will be, but it'll be short turnaround for them, short turnaround for us. And, uh, again, you just, we just trying to get our games in and, and, and our guys want to play. So that's, that's what we came to Vegas to do. And, We've gotten 50% uh, of our job done, and now it's time to uh, finish it off. But it's not going to be easy on Tuesday. We've we got to have our hard hats on. They're, they're a good team and a well-coached team and a tough team and a talented team.